Well, here we go. We're down to. It's usually down to Battlefield and Pokemon Stadium all the time. Yeah, it yeah. seems to me like the. If I had to pick three neutral stages to actually make official neutral, it'd be Battlefield, Pokemon Stadium 2, and Smash Bros. I think Smash Bros. is pretty much the other neutral stage in this game. Final D being a little too flat, Yoshi's being a little too small, Dreamland being a little too big. So. Nice recovery by Zara. What will we make about this time? No. Doesn't even try to be back. Yeah, Lucas is up, or Roy's up, be rather, being a little short compared to Marth, who Marth kind of hangs in the air a little bit, and he's up, he's going to but actually he's out of it. Ah. Nice combo so far by CC Zero. Yeah, Zero doing a great job. Zara doing a good job jumping out of shield, going for some down air, trying to catch him, but the hilt of that shield being the spike or the meteor. With Roy, maybe not the best choice of the shield. Right, right. Oh, nice. Gets right in there with the uh, empty jump grab, and Zar still has yet to take a stock off of CT Zero. Yeah, Zero oh. being one of the better players uh, coming out of the Tri State area, playing a lot of Project M after he's moving off of Brawl. Yeah, he's looking like he's just really going to close this out as soon as possible, going for that upbeat. With great DI so far by Zar as well. Um, hopefully, maybe if he can get an opportunity Dreaming to get a grab. Oh, yeah. Good power shield, but Zero sends him off stage once again. Yep, and that's Man. gonna be that stock. Not too sure if Zar <laughs> might not be well versed in this matchup. Are there any uh, pit mains in this area? Yeah, we've got a, a guy out of Carbondale, actually, that likes to play pit named, uh, his name's Kerry. Kerry. He goes by Curry. He's a pretty good pit player, but I don't think that these two have necessarily played that much. So, definitely a matchup he probably hasn't seen yet, which is an interesting thing about Project M because there's so much character diversity. And yeah, the game's pretty new that you do Interesting matchups where you may not know a matchup in tournament, even you play against someone that gets a character you've never played before. Absolutely. So that, that could be definitely enough of a battle for you. Yep, that's one of the main differences from Melee. At least in Melee, there might be a good six characters that most of the people play, so you, you wouldn't have, really have a bad time fighting a character that you don't actually have a good amount of experience against. But in this game, almost the whole cast is viable. Practically, yeah. make, practically the whole cast. I yeah. think so. I think maybe you look at <clears throat> even you actually. You, I was gonna say Game and Watch might not be that viable because of his weight, but you look at Nintendo yeah. doing really well on the East Coast recently. So definitely, I don't think there's any character that people are gonna look at and say, "Oh, this is not that good," because we've seen a lot of good Ness play as well recently. Absolutely, and Olimar. Olimar as well from Hunger Box. From Hunger Box. Definitely exactly. doing a really good job of renting that character. Maybe Yoshi is on the short end of that list as well as Luigi. Interestingly enough, because he's I think he's better than Melee. Mm, yeah. Alright, good stuff. I, I really like that Mare from Roy. Actually, it's pretty hard to crouch cancel and punish that. Uh, unfortunately, jumping backwards on accident, maybe trying to get a sweet spot, but accidentally holding the st stick too long there. He was doing a pretty good job in the neutral game, just like based on the change of the stages. Really nice spacing by Zero, and his combo game is just so solid, and edge guards with, with Pit. Very, very solid with this character, and nice usage of the neutral B with Roy. Yeah, definitely a very strong attack. Comes out pretty quick, a little quicker than before the Yeah, and it's yeah, a, it a great KO move as well. Yeah, it is. Charging that to basically any degree is going to guarantee that it's a very, very strong hit that's going to put a lot of people in danger being KO. A B? Yep, solid stuff. You'd actually have to DI horizontally away from zero to be to be able to survive that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doing a very good job of following up with that. We realizing that when he was above him, high percent that that up, he's probably going to get a kill. Solid combos again by Zero. Always on the offensive. Not really staying back to shoot arrows unless the opponent is off stage. Yeah, Zero definitely wanting to be in his face. Maybe recognizing that he might be a little bit of a new player and doesn't know how to deal with the pressure as well as more seasoned veterans. Hmm. Solid um, hit by Zar. Still hard to convert any kill move off of this, though. Yeah, definitely. He's going to be looking to hit with the smash attack, but Roy being a little slow, then Zero's definitely going to have time to put up his shield. Nice down here. And there he, there you have it. He takes the first stock so far. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Very good job. We'll see how he does in the next stock. If he actually uses the down tilt, he can combo the down tilt into a back air or a neutral B around kill percent. That's one of the main buffs that Roy really got. Yeah, yeah, Roy's down tilt's always been very good. You can even go for the Silent Spectre combo, the uh, down tilt to neutral air. Mm. So that's a very interesting one. There's an up B kill off the top again. Yep, and actually it looked like he tried to DI that one, but still. CT0 managed to get the star KO and 
gets this uh, second game. Nice, yeah. solid 2-0 victory. Yeah. Zero definitely being one of the heavy hitters and one of the favorites in this tournament. So, so we'll see if he can keep this momentum going forward as he has to play Metroid or Mewtwo King.